Still with the Senate on Tuesday, it asked the service chiefs to step aside following the killings of soldiers who were fighting insurgency and banditry in some parts of northern Nigeria. The motion was brought to the floor of the Senate via a point of order moved by the chairman of its committee on army, Senator Ali Ndume. Those who contributed to the motion lamented the implication of the disturbing development, stressing that it was capable of frustrating the war against the insurgency and banditry. They noted that many members of the armed forces who are scared of losing their lives have started resigning from the military. The Vice Chairman of the Senate Committee on Customs, Senator Ayo Fadawsi, proposed an additional prayer that demanded the stepping aside of the service chiefs and his prayers was seconded by Senator Betty Apiafi. The Senate President, Ahmed Lawan, ruled on the prayer and it was overwhelmingly supported by all senators in attendance. The Senate therefore asked the service chiefs to step aside so that the president can appoint new ones with fresh ideas. Joining us to discuss this is security expert Femi Badebo. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us on the news. Thank you for having me. Now, the Senate overwhelmingly resolved that the service chiefs should resign. This is not the first time the service chiefs have been called on to step aside. What is your take on this latest move? Well, you know, the rules are that the service chiefs are appointed by the uh, head of state, president, who sends the list to uh, and they serve as pleasure, which means they can serve as not. Uh, we have the history where people have had beyond the they are okay. mandatory. The, the audio is a bit. Age of the service chiefs are serving at the pleasure of the president. And the result of that is that. Um, the Senate can make the call and they will respond as they speak. Yes, some of them have passed the service speech, but we are also seen in the past where thousands of police and some other people have been given. So uh, I think we'll just wait. All right, sir. Um, why is the call directed to the service chiefs and not the president um, uh, to excuse themselves from service? Like you said, they serve at his pleasure. I believe uh, members of Senate are not satisfied with the government. And since Mr. President has not let them go, they're shifting the, blame, uh, the responsibility now. This facility to bow responsibly. But you see, unfortunately, uh, it has never happened. This chief say, I can no longer start. As long as your boss, who is the commander in chief, can deliver, um, then you continue to be in service. All right. The question again is, what is the guarantee that uh, the new service chiefs, when they do step in, can turn things around and will not be frustrated by other factors? <laughs> other factors is the important issue. Because, you see, until you get on top of the off, your visibility is limited by a lot of things. So when the new service chiefs come, we'll promise them And they're likely going to, you know, put on a military gear and ask to notice and so on. But I'll tell you, in the midst of a crisis like this, it takes a few weeks, even months, to identify the resources in terms of manpower and equipment that can be adequately deployed, especially now when we're dealing with what is not and if you have things in the middle belt. So they are overwhelmed, definitely. But there are other factors that they are able to mention. That is why every time they go to Mr. President and they make their presentations, he is satisfied. 
that they are doing the best on the circumstances in which they find themselves. All right, should these uh, service chiefs ignore this call again, what next? Well, I think the, the call is misplaced and is actually uh, embarrassing the service. They have the capacity, at least the leadership of the Senate, which will pass like a motion where their leadership will now seek and compared with Mr. President, and table their case rather than go through the back door and try to intimidate the service chiefs to walk out on the president. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Marshal Femi Gbadabo, retired. It's a pleasure always to have you on the news. Thank you so much.